Hi, my name's Alexandra Ash, the new CEO of Gymnastics Australia. Although it does feel quite strange saying that now, I've been here for a little over two months. For those that do not know me, I was previously Executive General Manager at the Y in Victoria, where I led the recreation portfolio. I've also held the position of Non-Executive Director of the Board at Gymnastics Victoria for a little over three and a half years prior to starting here. Since commencing this role, I've made a very conscious decision to visit as many clubs as possible. In my first 60 days, I visited four states with 23 clubs. Thank you so much for being so welcoming. I've also been super impressed by the commitment of everyone involved in our sport to ensure that all participants are empowered to achieve their personal goals in a safe way. I've also appreciated the honest and frank feedback I've received. These visits have been a great opportunity for me to listen and to hear firsthand the many challenges and opportunities clubs are facing on the ground and how these gaps in which I acknowledge our workforce shortages and the retention of both participants and our coaches I felt across the country. I really see my role and GA's role to enable you as clubs to get more kids involved in the sport in the way that you need them. It's to have children more active more often. Given our recognition as the peak body of gymnastics in Australia and the level of affiliation and participation seen by our member clubs, we are well supported by Sport Australia to deliver projects that directly increase community participation. Over the coming 12 months, we are using the opportunity provided by Sport Australia for several essential and future direction projects that directly support growth in the sport. Starting with the people who work with our participants the most, our coaches. Understanding that Australian sport coaching is undergoing a shift to focus on participant motivations for taking part in the sport. We recognise that our current coach education framework focuses on the physical safety of our sport and the safeguarding of our participants. However, research shows us that utilising an athlete-centred coaching approach leads to greater athlete retention, lower churn rates of our participants and increased coach job satisfaction. To support our coaches to foster this cultural change, we must now embed the behaviours and these philosophies to nurture the psychological safety of our participants within our coaching philosophy. With that in mind, we have begun the process of reimagining our education framework. And I want to be very clear, this is driven by our clubs and participant feedback, a new education pathway. We will always champion the physical and psychological safety of our participants. We have enabled this philosophy within our strategy and operations at every level and will continue to do so. Further updates and announcements will be made at the National Clubs Carnival in September. That's included in our outline of our new education pathway to accelerate safe, independent coaching and our proposed co-design framework. It's with your input and your voice that's essential to our new approach. Now the second major initiative that we're working on is understanding the reason why people choose gymnastics and really why parents choose gymnastics too. Acknowledging there are a number of opportunities to drive additional growth in the sport from both new participants and the retention of our existing participants. We need to have a clear understanding of the market dynamics, our consumers, that being our little people and our parents, and their decision-making processes and importantly, where gymnastics and gymnastics in Australia fits in. Being able to understand our marketing position and how we can capitalise on the next 10 years of the green and gold decade will be invaluable. Now, before I finish, I hope you will join me in wishing the Commonwealth Games team all the best in the next fortnight. Representing your country at any level is an extraordinary achievement that few people get to experience in their lifetime. My son met the WAG athletes at Waverley earlier this month and as a parent of young children, I know how excited they are to watch our athletes compete at the world stage. Between now and National Clubs Carnival in September, I intend to continue to visit, listen and engage with our community and meeting as many of you face to face in the various ways that I can.